Southeast Asia is composed of several big corporations, and these large enterprises somewhat control the majority of the economics of the 10 nation countries. And these corporations and their owners are known to be rich, super, or crazy rich. According to Forbes, the American business magazine, Southeast Asia has over 104 billionaires, and the top 25, when you put their net worth together, is collectively worth over 283 billion US dollars which is close to Malaysia's nominal gross domestic product at $336 billion in 2020. This just suggests that the top 25 richest people in the region have a lot of money. Hence, according to the CIA World Factbook, Southeast Asia's nations emerged as one of the most unequal countries around the world. And this even includes financial country Singapore, which ranked the 27th most unequal country. Then enter monopolies, corporations that hold the majority of a particular industry, which is a term evident in both the traditional ways, such as oil, real estate, retailing, and modern ways such as technology. There are hundreds of corporations, and we mean just hundreds, maybe thousands, but the top 100 corporations hold a huge chunk of the entire industry around Southeast Asia. Take for example in the Philippines, one of the largest corporations, SM Corporation, which is the most valuable company. Often known for dominating the shopping industry, it has been reported to have over 78 malls across the nation, which might not seem like a lot, but among Southeast Asia, SM is one of the largest mall operators across the region after it has a combined 9.24 million square meters of gross floor area. If that doesn't sound like a lot, well, 1 million square meters is the equivalent of 186 football fields. But here's the thing, SM is far, far larger than we know, and its owners, the so-called Psy family, are rich. And when we say rich, we mean that combined. They are among the richest around the world. But before that, let's look at SM from above. SM has a large presence in three industries. First was retailing, second is banking, and third is property development. The bank BDO, which is majority owned by SM Investments, is the largest bank in the nation in terms of assets after it registered over $69.7 billion. Its property development is also the largest in terms of market value. Actually, it is far larger than the next six companies. Even the next six companies combined, SM subsidiary property development company, SM Prime, is still far larger with $22.5 billion in market value. And actually, these three entities are just among the many more other corporations that SM holds. Now, enter corporate ownership. According to this document by SM's website, among the biggest shareholders of this corporation have the last name of Psy, which is basically the founding family of SM. But aside from the Philippines, in Indonesia, we have a bank called Bank Central Asia. In 2021, it registered that it has over $85 billion in assets. And while this isn't really much of a monopolistic company, as banking in Indonesia has other players of the same size. But what makes BCA different is that it made two people rich. Very, very rich. According to the BCA public website, its two owners, namely Robert Booty Hartono and Bambang Hortono, own close to 55% of the billion-dollar bank, which is estimated to be around $25 billion. But these two are not just banking people. They have businesses in the tobacco industry, e-commerce industry, tourism, and even sports, to which most of it they own privately. Hence, both of them are worth over $42.6 billion, which makes the family the 33rd richest people in the world. Now, there are far more than just the two corporations. SM and BCA are just prime examples of how two corporations control a massive amount of money and market share in a nation. Singapore, Malaysia, and Vietnam have a lot of these crazy rich Asians, controlling mostly a huge share of traditional industries. But with today's changing landscape, we are seeing a huge shift in the region's richest. As emerging companies like Grab, C Unlimited, and GoTo Group, the share of modern companies are growing. But with the rise of these, there also comes the rise of the owner's wealth. Forrest Lee and Gang Yi, the owners of C Limited, emerged with a combined net worth of almost $20 billion. Surprisingly, considering the company is relatively new compared to its traditional peers, with Southeast Asia becoming a richer region, we need to help alleviate the inequality and enable inclusion for everyone, not just to a few people.